Hi, everybody, and welcome to Conversations for Peace. I'm Marcy Newman, your Heart Shift Coach, and this is Day 13. So we have been talking about what peace is, trying to understand it on a deeper level, as well as how to cultivate it so that the energy is more accessible to us. We know that peace is an innate energy. It's part of our true nature. And as such, it, it brings us to a place where rather than feeling separate from life, from the world, from love, from source energy itself, what peace does is it offers us an opportunity to come immediately back into connection with our truth, our true being, and of course, the source of all of that. So yesterday I spoke about giving peace a chance, essentially, by taking even the smallest step possible. And particularly, we talked about how the smallest step, like even choosing to respond rather than react, is such a powerful step because on so many levels, it, it transfers information through all of the different systems of your being, including chemical responses. And so in thinking about that today, I was, I was wondering really what happens when just that one small step is taken. And what I realized is that with one small step, there is always a second step that's being offered to us. And it was so interesting because as I found myself sort of contemplating that and contemplating this whole issue of peace, which is really on my mind all the time, the universe did what it always does, and it offered up a number of opportunities for me to take a look at peace from many different sides. And what was interesting was that as I was going through Facebook and scrolling through, looking for a story to share on my humans loving humans, and I always try to find at least one that I can share from another space, I came across a video. And the video was of a woman who had just gotten off of a bus and was waiting for an Uber ride with her three children to another destination. And she was at a gas station. When all of a sudden, there was this crazed man who tried to grab her child, her baby, out of her arms and grab the other kids and kidnap them. She, of course, fought back immediately, trying to grab onto her kids and hold them and was screaming. And thank God, a number of people came to her aid. And they kept trying to like push the man off. But the man was like, so aggressive and he started to punch and hit and kick and fight with everyone who came between him and these kids. And he was determined that he was going to get them. And I watched like in horror as this video was unfolding and the people were using their, own, their bodies to try to shield the mother and her children trying to get them into the gas station where they hoped that they would be safe. And in the meantime, they put themselves at great risk. Um, and many of them got hurt. This man almost seemed like he had superhuman strength. And again, he was so determined to get these children. And as it was unfolding, I was curious even as I was watching it, like, is this scripted? 
Like it was incredible because someone would come from the left and somebody came from the right and someone came from across the street. And like one by one, these people were getting knocked down, dragged down and like bowling pins. Finally, this woman made it into the gas station <clears throat> and they tried to keep this crazy fellow out but they were no match for him. And he got into the store, into the, into the gas station itself. And finally what happened was a young guy who had been watching this from across the street came running in and he pinned the crazy guy to the ground and laid on top of him. He was a wrestler and he got him in a wrestling pin and you could see the people all around who had been so engrossed with trying to help this woman and her children. And they were like milling around and the energy was still so acutely static, filled with this anger and aggression. And some of them, you could tell it was almost as if they were deflating, like the adrenaline was leaving their, their cells. But there were others who remained angry. And while the man was pinned to the ground, violently went over and kicked him or hit him or... And this went on for a little bit until you finally see the police officers coming in, cuffing him and taking him out. And I was thinking about whether or not there are degrees of peace. And I realized that peace is really an all or nothing kind of energy. But there are certain routes that will still deliver you to peace if that is your intention. And so what I realized is that intention is everything. You know, it's interesting because as I said, I, I was looking for a story to share on humans loving humans and I ended up posting that video and I was challenged on it and I was glad. I was glad that I was challenged because it again gave me an opportunity to reflect back. Well, how did I really feel about this? The truth was is that what you witness is real heroism as these people put their own lives at risk trying to protect this woman and her children. What you also see though is that it required that they attack the attacker. Now I know that not one of them, I guess I'm assuming, that not one of them would have chosen that activity for the day, but they found themselves in the midst of all of this energy that sucked them in. And so I was thinking then again about what I spoke of yesterday, the difference between reacting and responding. And I was wondering if it's possible under those circumstances to still pause and to respond rather than to react. And I realized that that opportunity is present no matter what is happening. We of course don't know <clears throat> excuse me, we don't know what the results would have been had people paused. We have no idea. But we do know that the reactions of the people and the fast, quick reactions did result in that woman and her children remaining safe. So I guess my question to you is this. What is it about intention 
that sets an energetic path that can lead us to peace under any circumstance. Because what I saw after all of that energy started to dissipate with some of the people was a great sense of relief. Some of the other people remained agitated and most likely if someone else had come in fighting, they would have been right in it. And so we come back to this concept where intention is everything. And so I was thinking about the integration of that energy. Intention and response rather than reaction. I think what happens with reaction sometimes is that the intention is overshadowed or perhaps isn't even present. And so we have this opportunity to, again, to embrace the possibilities that we can see things differently, that we can assess things differently, that we can respond rather than react. And of course, we always have the option to react. But response gives us the opportunity to create an experience that perhaps is more in alignment with what it is that we want to experience. And so I'm just going to leave that with you. I think I'll be thinking about it for quite some time. I'd love to hear your comments or questions. The whole thing is so interesting, isn't it? But peace is there for us at all times. And it's we who have to choose to reach for it, to align with it, to intend to create it. And so before I recite my peace pledge, as I have every single day, I'd like to invite any of you who have not yet received your seven ways to cultivate peace or your copy of the Peace Pledge to please go to my website, heartshiftcoach.com and get your copy and start to intentionally create more peace in your life so that you can be happier and healthier and feel more connected and whole. So here's my pledge to you. I pledge to extend peace into my circle of influence through cultivating my own peaceful heart, my clear intentions, taking personal responsibility for my thoughts, my beliefs, my choices, and taking compassionate action. I take this peace pledge and I pass it from my peaceful heart through to yours. I take it in so that I can give it out. Peace in, peace out, until tomorrow. Just know how loved and cherished you are by this universe of intention and peace. Good night.